When it comes to video games, it's pretty surprising to see just how far people will go in order to get an achievement. Some will spend hours, if not weeks, of their lives chasing that one elusive drop that will net them the sweet chiming of a trophy unlocking, and others will play through the entire game multiple times just to tick all of those different difficulty-based challenges off. And then, there's of course the people who will roll up their sleeves and put in the work by being utter dicks, which again, strangely gets rewarded. But the trophies on this list, well, they're designed to break you, either by asking for ludicrous diligence putting yourself in harm's way, or by simply being mammoth time sinks. These are the equivalent of the developer reaching out and slapping you in the face while saying, do you give up yet? Some of you might have these achievements unlocked, but you might have well lost a piece of your soul to get them. So let's dive in headfirst, as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 most twisted video game achievements ever. Number 10. Manager Merry-Go-Round – FIFA 08 the FIFA series of games has undoubtedly cemented itself as the top dog in simulating the beautiful game for years now. However, FIFA's not exactly the first game that comes to people's minds when it comes to challenging achievements, and for good reason. I mean, generally, in order to fully complete the game's trophy list, players normally just have to go through a series of relatively easy challenges such as scoring a free kick, customising their player, and grinding for hours at Ultimate Team. But back in the day, though, EA seemingly decided that players needed to suffer if they wanted that 100% for FIFA 08. Enter the Manager Merry-Go-Round, a truly sadistic test of the player's quality and patience in Manager mode. In order to obtain this achievement, the player must complete 15 seasons as a manager in Career mode, with different clubs in different countries. But what makes this such a slog is that the player can't just sim all of the games as getting sacked completely voids the challenge, so that's a ton of time being spent that could go wrong at any moment. Brilliant. Number 9. Alien Archivist Fallout 3 Fallout 3, from a sales and gameplay perspective, was a monumental success, breaking records for the series and scoring critical acclaim across the board. So of course people were chomping at the bit to get more of the wasteland and bought the following DLC that came out for Fallout 3 in droves. However, one of the DLCs, Mothership Zeta, was viewed with an almost bewildered expression, because not only was the expansion completely and quite literally out there, but it had one of the most annoying achievements ever in the form of the Alien Archivist. What makes this achievement so difficult to obtain is that certain areas of the ship cannot be returned to, meaning that if the player hadn't picked up the captive recordings on their way through this linear experience, they better hope that they had a previous save to revert to, otherwise that's it. You're done, son. Number 8. Cross Your Heart, Hope to Die – Dead Space 2 for those who suffer from a fear of things going into your eyes, you might want to skip this entry and um, never, under any circumstances, try and get the Cross Your Heart Hope to Die achievement in Dead Space 2. As an unavoidable part of the story, this achievement might not be as difficult as some of the others referenced in this list, but it fits the description of Twisted solely for its gruesome consequences if failed. The player enters the Noon Tech Diagnostics machine towards the end of the classic 2011 campaign, and to complete this achievement, a player just has to line up the needle with Isaac's pupil and then plunge it in, but this becomes progressively harder as the protagonist heart rate increases. The trick to completing this minigame is to take periodic rest to allow Isaac's heart rate to decrease before continuing, but that only will increase the stress in your own heart because this is absolutely brutal, and if you fail the minigame you will get an incredibly gory cutscene that is, well, it's not for the faint of heart. Number 7. If They Came To Hear Me Beg – Halo Reach Sometimes a game requires the player to complete an act with such precision that it's almost bound to provoke a series of frustrating failures before even getting close to success. The final game in Bungie's highly acclaimed tenure as the developer of the Halo franchise, Reach serves as a prequel to the main series, seeing the player take control of Noble Six rather than the iconic Master Chief. Though the game was both critically and commercially successful, superfans everywhere hoping to fully complete the title had their work cut out for them with the If They Came To See Me Beg achievement. In order to obtain this, the player had to perform an assassination against an elite in order to survive a fall that would have otherwise been fatal. That's quite a mouthful, right? And obviously trying to get this on the requirement of normal difficulty or above meant that there were only a few locations for it to be farmed and you'd likely die even just getting close to them in the first place. Such was the outcry against this punishment that it was removed from the Master Chief collection. And what does that say? Number 6. It's sterile and I like the taste. Postal 2 
presumably named after one of the many, many memorable quotes from Patches O'Houlihan in the 2004 movie Dodgeball, it's sterile and I like the taste, sees the player, <sighs> how do I put this? piss in their own face. Yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. Now, there are many, many questions raised by this achievement. Firstly, why? Secondly, how come there is a piss button in the first place? And third, why again? Creating this one-man golden shower to either put yourself out if you're on fire or, just for the fun of it, will pop this trophy and you'll be riding that piss-soaked shame knowing what you did to get it. Number 5. Mile High Club – Call of Duty 4 Back in the day when most Call of Duty campaigns weren't just considered an afterthought, they were the meat and bones upon which the multiplayer offering was built, and were filled to the brim with colourful characters and tons of outstanding set-piece action. And arguably, one of the best moments of any campaign was the ludicrously enjoyable epilogue mission Mile High Club, which pops up in Call of Duty 4. However, that joy soon faded when we all saw that there was an achievement tied to this mission, which informed us that we'd have to complete this mini-mission in just one minute on veteran difficulty. This challenge was marked as one of the hardest in the entire game, and only those with true patience, skill, and a whole lot of luck actually ended up claiming this. Number 4. The Bladder of Steel Award – Rock Band 2 Ironically, this next achievement takes the absolute piss while also demanding that you hold yours in. In Rock Band 2, the Bladder of Steel Award was given out to players who could complete the entire song list without pausing or failing. The entire song list. That's 84 tracks. 84! That you'd have to complete without taking a single break. It was a monumental achievement, but was actually a trophy that went against the very ethos of the game itself, as here, instead of clubbing together with your mates, you were surprisingly better off attempting this solo, because with more players comes the risk of making mistakes or even just hitting the pause button by accident. Again, sorry about that to my housemates when that happened to us. If you are gunning for this, word of advice, make sure that your controllers are charged and also that you have about six hours to spare. Number 3. The Flapmaster – Goat Simulator if you were alive in 2013, you will remember how big the hype around the mobile game Flappy Bird was. As a basic side-scroller, Flappy Bird wasn't exactly reinventing the wheel, but somehow it became one of the most viral mobile games ever, quickly rising to the top of the charts and creating genuine hysteria amongst some users after it was pulled from the App Store in 2014. So when Goat Simulator included a parody of this game that only required users to get 10 points, it seemed like it wasn't going to cause anyone any real problems. Unfortunately, this wasn't actually the case. Unlike the real Flappy Bird, the game within a game Flappy Goat is ridiculously difficult, forcing the player to embark on a lengthy process of trial and error in attempting to score the elusive 10 points. It turned out that the trick to obtaining this achievement is adding several mutators onto the player character, causing the game to lag and allowing the player to be more precise with their movements within the minigame. It was frustrating on a whole other level. Number 2. Seven Day Survivor – Dead Rising 2006's Dead Rising is an absolute classic in the survival horror slash comedy genre. Created by Keiji Inafune, much of the game's beauty comes with its simplicity, as players are dropped into a location that is threatened to be overrun by ravenous zombies and tasked with surviving and investigating a shopping mall for 72 in-game hours before help can arrive. And there is a lot to see and do in this game, most of which you'll miss first time around thanks to the punishing time limit. However, if you'd like to explore at a more relaxed pace, well, as relaxed as a zombie apocalypse, can be, that is, then you can do so with the Infinity Mode, which has its own incredibly challenging achievement in the form of Seven Day Survivor, which you can get by, you guessed it, surviving for a whole week. What makes this achievement so difficult is that, much like the aforementioned Rock Band task, players are unable to save their game during this challenge. This means that obtaining this badge of honour requires a total of around 14 hours of continuous playtime, with the player forced to restart if they die. Ouch. And number 1. Caravan Master – Fallout New Vegas now here's the thing, I absolutely adore Fallout New Vegas, in fact I've been live streaming it over on my personal channel Live and Let's Dice with tons of mods in it, well utterly insane. And honestly, this game ranks up there with my favourite titles ever made. However, that's not to say that everything about it is perfect. Now the world building, characters, setting and hell the clunky ass gunplay, they're what makes this game truly special. But the card based mini game Caravan does not, that can get it in the bloody bin. Now I truly respect Obsidian for taking the time to make an entirely new card game for this title, but it's hardly intuitive and feels completely at odds with the rest of the casino-based games that you can play. What makes matters worse is that if you want to try and complete this game 100%, you'll need to play and win 30 times, which, unless you're aware of the exploits and cheese methods, can and will take forever. I get that you're proud of your creation, but hot damn do I want to just cave some heads in with a power sledge after playing this for a few rounds. 
And there we go, those were the 10 most twisted video game achievements ever. I hope that you enjoyed that, my friends, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below, as well as any other suggestions you have, because who knows, I might be doing a comment edition further down the line. And if you want to chat to me further about all things to do with video games and anything else, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero. Or you can catch me at Live and Let's Dice, like I said before, where I'm doing loads of live streams and some board game playthroughs. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. We detail today a lot about punishing and arduous achievements in video games, some that took the piss. But you know what, my friends, there is an achievement that we should all strive to unlock, and that is a bit of self-love. Seriously, I know it seems pretty small, but taking the time each and every day to check in with yourself, asking yourself if you're okay, is genuinely important, and I wish nothing but love, happiness, and success for you, my friend, because you are a big ledge. If you're going through problems, then remember, friends, family, and professionals in the support industry, all of these people care about you and want you to do well. And go out there and smash it. Big love from me to you. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.